Greetings from Plano, Texas, a bedroom community of uh, Dallas, Texas. Let's close the garage door. This is a follow-up to my last episode, episode 10, where I presented a method of defining a precise map in uh, Google Maps on the desktop and sending it to your smartphone and have your smartphone Google app open it and route you exactly as you planned. Finally, we have a way, a workable way, not absolutely perfect, but only with uh, some, uh, um, um, the minor thing of having to click continue at the stops that you program in to force the route to go exactly the way you want. To be clear, you just keep rolling and in CarPlay on the Goldwing, you'll get an alert that you press one button to continue and it goes on to the next uh, stop. But then my good friend, the cruise man, he had a good question. He says, what if you're halfway there, you stop and uh, you want to continue from where you are? Is it going to start you over? The short answer to that is no. But it, if it does, there's an easy workaround. To start uh, a map that you had originated from somewhere else to start uh, from where you are. And uh, I'll send it to my desktop self, Bubba, and let him explain it to you. Bubba here at the desktop. Now, when I define a route in Google Maps for the desktop, I send it by a message to my phone. That way, I store the routes like that. Since Google Maps on the smartphone, iOS or Android, uh, doesn't save it. But this is an easy way for me to find it. So I launched the route, and up comes Google Map on my iPhone. But I can't go back to the beginning. I'm 12 miles away from that beginning, so I have to modify it. So I just go to the top and touch the top address, the start, and I modify the address by backspacing over it and entering current location. That reroutes the map starting there. Now, if the next stop is still out of my way, I can just exit out until I get a good first stop from my remote position. And this is how you pick up a route from a prepared route that starts where you're not. You're in a new location. You can modify it to start from where you are and go to the next convenient stop. Finally, a precise route from your desktop to your 2018 or newer Goldwing. So there you have my desktop self, Bubba Smith. I've been Bubba since uh, the day I was born. And my daddy, just back from World War II, nicknamed me Bubba because that was the popular nickname in 1945. Oops. All right. I hear the math going. I'm uh, 73, turning 74 in November. But that didn't stop me from writing. And so uh, there you have it. Uh, a complete system where you can create a map, send it to your smartphone, and it will route you exactly the way you planned. Because if you just enter a start and stop, you can change the map all you want, but unless you lock it down with stops, stops where you don't actually have to stop, 
you'll get uh, the route that the, that the software wants to send you on, which is not what you want. Go back to episode 10 if you would like a refresher or if you haven't seen it. And this method is good if you don't have CarPlay, because you might use your smartphone, Android or iOS, for guidance on Google Maps from your phone. And you want the guidance to be exactly the way you planned it. So there you go. Front to back, beginning to end, planning the precise map you want on the desktop, getting that exact map on your phone, knowing how to pick up where you are if you should abandon the map in the middle of the routing so that it doesn't start you over from the beginning. And there it is. Let's open up the garage door and go home.